Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my weekly melting baskets and I decided to share my upstairs and downstairs again. I will be starting with the downstairs basket. I have a good amount of things in here that I would like to finish up. So I have jelly jam and dinner rolls. This is warm rolls, orange marmalade, and strawberry jam and it is pretty good. I have three cubes left there. I have two pieces of Christmas cookie therapy. It is eggnog cookie therapy and a hint of gingerbread. I have melted this in my downstairs and unfortunately I was disappointed in it. It wasn't like really much of a throw and I couldn't really smell it. So I'm going to try this in our bedroom. I have two pieces of a chunk muffin carrying over from last week. It is spearmint coconut Noel. This was very good, lasted all day when I melted it. I have a few pieces left of Sweetheart Cookies, which is um, from Teddy Bee's. It's an okay scent, not my favorite. I found out I'm not the biggest fan of pink sugar, so I'm just going to melt through what I have and probably not repurchase any more pink sugar scents, but I really do like it mixed with bakery. Um, you know, not enough to buy big quantities, but this one, you know, I will still melt it and get through it is what I'm trying to say. And it is better mixed with bakery. There we go. So it's pink sugar, frosted sugar cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, and sweet milk. And then I have one that I have not tried yet. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, a little scared to try this, but I will try it before my new melting basket. And it is Christmas Party by Teddy Bead. These, it is sweater weather, about the Body Works type, cranberries, orange tangerine, and a, with a hint of spice. Um, another one that I was kind of disappointed in, so I hope it gets better or I will maybe mix it. Vanilla Bean Noel by That Small Good Shop. I decided to melt this one night before bed for a couple hours and I could not smell a thing. This is not usually the case with that small good shop. They are usually a fantastic vendor, but this is more like a mixing scent, I guess, not a melt alone because it did not really work melting alone. And then the rest of this basket is black magic melts. So first I have cranberry zucchini bread, a favorite of mine. I have gingerbread. This is a little sample that I was given. And then lastly, I just got this out of my newest purchase, and it is from the Christmas Vacation line that they did, and it is their eggnog scent, and I will just read the little, like, quote, movie quote here. It says, can I refill your eggnog for you, get you something to eat, drive you out to the middle of nowhere, and leave you for dead? That's the movie quote and sent it in nice eggnog. That's everything from that basket. Next, I have a lot of carryovers in my downstairs basket, but that is that is okay. Um, first, I wanted to say that today, um, I'm filming this on Tuesday and we'll be uploading this and it is the seventh and it is my daughter's third birthday. So I wanted to throw in some scents with birthday cake in it. So I will show those first. I have peppermint and like just like birthday items. So I have from the mint sampler from Rose Girls, peppermint cotton candy ice cream cone. I have a birthday cake from that small good shop. I have caramel banana, which is banana, gooey caramel, ground cinnamon. I have melted three cubes of this, as you can see. It was a little bit too heavy on the cinnamon for me, so I might be mixing that with a vanilla scent. We will see. I have cookies for breakfast, which is sweet frosted sugar cookies, birthday cake crunch berries, and for another birthday cake kind of scent here, I have churro, birthday cake, vanilla wafer, and marshmallow fluff. Excited to melt those. And another Teddy Bee scent that I'm excited. I'm pretty positive I'm getting more. Pre pretty positive I'm getting a chunk bag of this. So I'm excited to try this out. And it is Mrs. Teddy Bear. It is a blend of Teddy Bear biscuits. I've never had that on my own, so not sure exactly what that is. 
but it is mixed with cherry pie filling and whipped cream. So this is not a very strong cherry scent, but it is still really nice and one of um, my fiance's like favorite on cold whenever he sniffed my order. From Rose Girls, I have Pretzel Monster Noel. Pretty sure these the rest of these will be carryovers from last week. I have Shamrock Shake from L3, Cream de la Menthe, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I have Caramel Mallow Graham Cracker Crust, and it is from Southbound. It is Caramel Drizzle Marshmallow layered onto a Frosted Graham Cracker Crust. This is a little too much cinnamon for me, but... Um, I've just been, you know, slowly getting through this because it lasts all day long. And then last but not least, I have some Black Magic Melts in this basket as well. And I'm going to put this downstairs like as soon as I'm done filming a few videos. This will be what is going in my warmer next. It is cinnamon peppermint cream. It is a little bit heavier on the cinnamon but I'm very excited to see how that performs on warm. And lastly, I have Christmas cookies. This is also kind of like a spicy cookie scent, but still very good. So thank you so much for watching my weekly melting basket. And let me know if you are melting any of these scents as well. And I hope you guys have a great week and happy melting. It is snowing a lot today, way more than I thought it would. And like I said, it's my daughter's birthday. We are not doing anything until Saturday for that. Um, I am home alone, kind of. My daughter is napping right now and my fiance is going to pick up my son. Um, I guess I'll do a story time here at the end. So my son has autism and he's six years old and my fiance had to go pick him up from school because they they uh, made assigned seating just like randomly and he did not take that too well today and I understand that. So yeah, not too happy with the bus driver right now. Just please, if you ever are dealing with a ch child with autism, you need to ease them into transitions. You can't just randomly switch up their schedule and think that everything is going to be okay because it's not. There was no warning given. I did not know of this. The, the teachers did not know of this. So we did not give him time to prepare for this change. So, yes, my fiance is going to go pick him up from school. This did happen one time in the, over summer school over some other situation where the bus driver refused to take them and I was like a little bit annoyed but now I'm like but now I'm more annoyed at the bus driver and you know annoyed again at the bus driver and also just really sad and disappointment point disappointed for my son so I told my fiance to go take him to the gas station get get him whatever like snacks and drinks he wants and we will be spending lots of quality time with the kids tonight. And yeah, I hope your the rest of your week goes by well. If you stayed and listened until the end, I really appreciate it. And I just really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. If you are not subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe and like this video. And stay tuned for more wax and planning videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day or night. Bye.